that makes it seem like I'm against the black community, because I'm totally not. And that's not because of any threats, because I don't give a shit, lads, yeah? It's not because of any threats. It's because, principally, that's not who I am. Now, I hope you understand when you're watching this, and I've said I'm going to be in London to defend the war memorial, yeah? And I have said that in a fit of rage. And the reality being that my presence in London now, and many of the young black lads that are going to go, are going because they think they're defending the black community from people who are coming to attack them, because that's how it's gone out. I've seen how a 20-second clip, people, and, and hope not hate, the same organisations that I'm saying are using you. Oh, that's then saying football hooligans plan attacks on the black community. That's not the truth, but I realised that my presence in London would be detrimental to racial tensions. Um, the last thing I want, the last thing I want is clashes between members who support me. And there's, there's black people coming. I think we've got black pastors coming with us, yeah, that we did have. I've now sat and watched the way this has played out, and I don't think it's the right move. And I generally don't think it's the right move. And I not just don't think it's the right move, I don't want to be responsible for more racial division. Because I can't make, I can't say you're being used by left-wing politics and left-wing politicians from the Democrat Party to push this agenda, to then be used by the Labour Party to push this agenda, and then me walk straight into it and do the job that they want done, which is cause a massive conflict between whites and non-whites. I don't want to do that, right? So I've made the video. I'm not going to be in London on Saturday, okay? I'm not going to be there. Not because, um, I don't even know all their names, man, all these little rappers and that are things up, yeah? Not because of any of that, all right? But lads, I'll tell you why, truthfully. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Blair Buck, you know what time it is. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys about Tommy, um, the EBL, uh, backtracking that he just recently did. Yeah, crazy, and um, that he's backtracking. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for notification of the uploads, baby. And for those of you returnees, you got the minerals, you got the minerals. Yes. Um, so yes, Tommy EDL um, actually started backtracking on his um, original intent, which was to go out there and to defend the war memorial. He actually gives us a 1 minute 40 or so um, video about why he's not going to be at the show. Now I want to say this, I don't know, maybe he had a change of heart. Maybe, maybe he had a change of heart. Or maybe he really is fearful. I don't know. I just know that he ain't doing it no more. But let's discuss what he actually said. So, very opening statement, he said, he's not against black... Seem like I'm against the black community, because I'm totally not. And that's not because of any threats, because I don't give a shit, lads, yeah? It's not because of any threats. It's because, principally, that's not who I am. Now, I hope you understand when you're watching this, and I've said I'm going to be in London to defend the war memorial, yeah? And I have said that in a fit of rage. That folk... He's gonna he, he was going to defend the war memorial, but it was, he said it in a fit of rage, right? And I want to understand this. Look, um, this is not a one-off from you, Tommy. This has been a consistent theme. So only now we're seeing this backtracking. It's really, really weird. Because um, it wasn't long ago you were on Tinks. You were on Crud. You were on War. You were on, 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 on making sure that people were going to get what they needed to get. You know what I'm saying? And defend your territory and turf, innit? So, obviously, I don't think anyone's going to say this you hate black people, but we are, we're going to say, obviously, there was some attitudes towards black people that we found infuriating. Not just black people, ethnic minorities in general, we found infuriating. And when we try to have, a, a, I guess, a discussion with yourself, I feel like you've only tried to incite more nonsense. Because, really and truly, your viewpoint um, didn't allow for anyone else's viewpoint to fit in. Um, and like I said, when a viewpoint is hatred, how can we actually fit that, that, that viewpoint into any society that we're trying to build, right? A society that's built on hatred can't win. Um, he then obviously said he's not backing down and it's not about fear. Um, it basically, he's backing, you know, so he said obviously he's backing down, but it's not about fear. Um, it's funny because obviously the way he was kind of talking and kind of st st stuttering at certain times, it kind of sounded a bit like fear, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, I mean, if it's not fear, then there's a change of heart. Um, which we actually hear, um, and he said, obviously, look, the principle, it's not about who it is, this is not who he is, right, which is that they were going to go to the woman memorial, and what was going to be, what was going to happen was that his supporters were going to end up fighting black folk, because the black folk were ready to do business, and they were going to defend, it was going to turn to a clash, it was going to turn to a war, and what he's saying is that that 20 second clip that he sent out, um, he understands why the black community are feeling the way they are, but this is not what it's about. That's not what he's about. That's not what he's trying to achieve. That's not what he's trying to do. You understand? Clashes between members who support me, and there's, there's black people coming. I think we've got black pastors coming with us, yeah? That we did have. I've now sat and watched the way this has played out, and I don't think it's the right move. And you know what? 
I respect that part. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can tell me that that's not what you're trying to achieve, just let me know what you are trying to achieve, though. I, I'm, just trying to, I'm just trying to find out what are you trying to achieve. You want to defend the woman why? Let me know, because it's part of the history. Is that really why? You don't really explain it. What is it really meaning? And actually, a lot of white people don't really fully understand the implications of keeping up a statue where the person really has a shady history when you won't keep up Hitler. It don't make sense for you to keep up people who are willing to kill, put people in slavery um, and by the millions, but then you wouldn't want to put up a thing of Hitler. So you've made Hitler your scapegoat for what is bad. And so if we put up a, a, a Hitler um, statue as a remembrance of why you know people are bad, let's do it. Why not keep it consistent? They won't. And the reason why is because we're doing what Egypt did to Israel. Oh, you can go. And as soon as we try to go, they grab you again. Oh, you can go. As soon as you go, they grab you again. Each time you try to leave, the oppressor tries to oppress you further. So instead of now taking the, the monument down, they're going to put it in the museum. All right. Um, he said, obviously, many uh, black lads are going because they're going to defend... Um, they want to defend the black folk or the black community, right? Uh, my presence in London now, and many of the young black lads that are going to go are going because they think they're defending the black community from people who are coming to attack them, because that's how it's gone out. I've seen how a 20 second clip people, and, and hope not hate, the same organisations that I'm saying are using you. Oh, that's then saying football hooligans plan attacks on black community. Like they're going to go. And that's why I feel like it sounded, it sounded a bit like fear, like he was, it's, I, I'm, I'm not going to say that it's fear even from necessarily the people, but I wonder if it's to do with the fact that, um, that someone else had a whisper in his ear. And I'm not talking about necessarily um, even uh, his own people, but what if maybe the Metropolitan Police or someone behind the scenes just said to him, listen mate, you go, you're going to cause a lot of trouble and you're not going to look good and you're going to make our agenda look bad and you're not going to help yourself and your reputation is going to be at fault. Um, so I wanted that sound, that sounded like, it didn't sound like he just came to a new revelation because, again, um, he's like, I don't want to fall into this agenda um, of it being whites and non-whites, right? He doesn't want to fall into that agenda. Um, so he's not going to be there. I was like, all right, cool. I respect that again. I mean, he's saying he doesn't want to fall into the agenda, doesn't want to fall into the, to, to the, to the racial baiting. But, you know, then he said, obviously, he has a few black people coming with him or a few black pastors with him. And I'm like, blood, listen, if they really are black and they see what's happening, bro, listen, and they're on your side, good on them. We're good on them. Uh, There's black people coming. I think we've got black pastors coming with us, yeah, that we did have. I've now sat and watched the way this has played out, and I don't think it's the right move. Um, I don't know how they can be on your side when you do what you do, when you say what you say. I don't know. But here it is. You know what I'm saying? Um... And then uh, he, um, he mentioned about the fact that obviously the, um, it's not about the rappers that mention his little rappers that mention his name or whatever. Da, da, da. And I'm like, bro, are you sure you're not not going because you're shook? Because you're mentioning a few things that really don't need to be mentioned. You mentioned the fact you're not going, you're not going to stop going just because you are shook. You're not going because of this. And then you mentioned the fact that you're not going because of the rappers said anything. You're not not going because obviously the black folk are going. Like there seems to be obviously a reason as a reason as a reason why you're not going. Mm. It sounds like you're making a few excuses. I'm not saying anything. Listen, I don't care why he does not go anymore. Thank God he ain't going. Just simple as that. Um, I wonder if it's because also maybe the police also uh, potentially will probably board up the monument that they're going to go down there to. Um, so they won't need to defend it um, as such because the legal powers will be in the play. So the job has been done for them. But whatever way it is, Tommy has backed down, which is unusual because the guy don't like backing down from nothing. You understand? Um, but this is what we're talking about when, it talk, when we're talking about racial tensions and talking about, um, you know, forming bridges. Like, if Tommy's really serious about a change, bro, come, let's discuss it. Discuss with some able-bodied black individuals, some educated black individual men, and let them begin to speak to you about certain things. And maybe you'll understand. Nobody's asking for white guilt. What we're asking for is white change. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, we're not looking for white guilt. We're looking for white change. Meaning that your mind is turned around and you realise, hey, look, my, 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 um, you know, I, 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 I want to be part of the solution, not the problem. You get me? Make sure you like, share and subscribe. Click on that bell button for notification of the what?